do you foresee as many people moving to Texas this year as we've seen in previous years? Nope. <laughs> and moving on. Uh, the, the short answer is no, I don't see as many people moving overall anywhere as last year, right? And that's kind of what we've been dealing with. This is the source of so much of the pessimism and negativity and all the gotcha headlines is less people are moving overall, period. So yeah, statistically, I do not see as many. But here's the thing that this person is going to just need to put in their pipe and smoke. Here's the situation. People like Texas. I regard, good place regardless of my videos, uh, if you are, and I'm not saying this is the case for everyone. I'm saying we hope a lot of people make those moves. Um, and this is what they tell us. Uh, Texas is a more desirable place for them to live. And they would have done it a long time ago if it hadn't been for their job or whatever. But remote work or a company where the entire company moved to Texas, like Toyota or Frito-Lay Pepsi have moved a lot of people. AT&T moved a lot of people. State Farm. State Farm moved a bunch of people. There's been a, a lot of that going on. And, and by the way, for every one of these really big corporate relocations you hear about, there's probably 80 small and mid-sized businesses that are making that move. Gordon Ramsay. So here's the deal. Um, these YouTube comments are hilarious, and there are hundreds of them on our YouTube channel. So go check it out. You can go to toddtremontiteam.com and click the videos tab. And you can see, by the way, that entire video is about people being mad that people are moving to Texas, which was in response to another video we did where everyone was mad in the comments, like just raging as if they lay claim to the state of Texas and they own it. Like it's their front porch and they're yelling at California to get off the lawn, you know? So here's the deal. Um, historically, Texas, Tejas, was known as the friendly state. But based on the YouTube comment section, they that's not our reputation anymore. No, 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 no. Because many of us do not mind vacationers. Right, vacationers. You, you may come to the state that I have chosen to own, apparently, and vacation, but you may not live here. Uh, it's absurd. Um, <laughs> now, look, that doesn't mean you might not, you know, be a thrilled about the cultural, educational, political, economic changes that happen when population shit. You know, that's all fine. But just to like, you know, gripe on people's YouTube channel comments all the time that you're not welcome here is like you're not part of the solution. You're you're part of the problem. So my response to the question is no, I don't think as many people are gonna move here. But that has nothing to do with Texas being any less desirable. I think Texas is more desirable than ever before in almost every category. There are certain things that are less desirable. Um, if you're looking for affordable land, land's not as affordable as it used to be. Uh, if you're looking for uh, a low cost of living, the cost of living here has gone up a bit. It's still lower than many other parts of the country, but it's gone up a bit. But all in all, people from other parts of the country are still inclined to move here just as much as they always were. But the pace, the rate at which that is happening is down a bit. So hopefully that answers the question.